Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I like, don't love the way I look right now. I'm also like very irritated because the rain just like showed up again today. Like it rained last week on Wednesday and it rained this week on Wednesday. And now both weeks I've been trying to do this Diet Coke fucking tutorial for you guys because like legitimately I we are not drinking Diet Cokes until I tell you guys how to drink it. Like I promise you, you, you will be like, oh my God, like I had no idea there was like a formula to it. And I promise you it is like, I probably should be doing like a Diet Coke tutorial for every restaurant in like the world or like US because it all depends like it just depends on everything anyway that's what I'm doing today hopefully it, okay and like this like the sun is bipolar too it gets like really bright and then it gets really really light okay but before I do that I want to just talk about Black Friday because I know everyone waits I'm blinking all year long and I need Botox really bad right here it's really disgusting okay um Okay, it's Black Friday and every, okay, you guys, Black Friday is such, like, obviously everyone waits for Black Friday, okay? It's, like, amazing. And, um, these offers I do for you guys, you know I don't take them lightly. I don't just, like, throw something at you. I don't just do, like, a percentage off. Like, it's always something I try and go above and beyond to, like, set myself apart from other people to actually show you guys, like, how much I genuinely value you and, like, legitimately love you guys. Like, we have, I don't know, it's, it's, I have this weird relationship with you guys. I don't know you, but I know you kind of thing for like how many years now I've been on YouTube for eight years. So many of my original customers are still around and it just, I really want to thank you. I feel like this year too, I've gained a lot of like, I've, I feel like our personalities have like meshed and we are like so like fucking crazy together and I just love it like I just have like the best time with you guys to be honest okay anyway so ev every year for any kind of offer I do I always try to make it amazing of course but it's always something that I have to absolutely love whether it's like an HRH logo product or last like last time what do I think whatever I forget what it was for Christmas or I forget what was it for I forget I did that micro ice chains which you guys totally loved it's always gonna be something that it may be considered free, but it has a lot of value. It's not free. Like I'm going out on a limb for you guys every time because I value you a lot. I don't feel like I'm just like some re regular business who's just gonna throw a percentage of a percentage off to you guys. Like I really want it to be more than that. Okay. So now that I'm gonna, I've already kind of said what it is. I want to show you what it is. And if you haven't been on my site already or on Instagram, if you've been blocked, obviously, then you wouldn't know what it is. But okay, here it is. You guys know I never ever take off my studio 54 pieces which is this and this and my bracelets but I took them off to show you guys I practically never take them off except to just clean them or if I'm doing a different stack for a video to be honest I'll take the bracelets off but my necklaces I never ever take off and the bracelets I wear every single day too okay so I know that gold is, is expensive right gold is expensive and um, so it's not affordable for everyone and everyone can get it but I it is so important for me that you guys get the vibe like this is the fucking vibe like you need to be wearing studio 54 pieces like when people order studio 54 pieces for me I'm like thank god they fucking get the vibe they just fucking get it like they are everything they are like these I love them they just like mesh to your skin they are so sparkly they're so 70s like I if I had to choose a piece that I love the most like a, a chain that I love the most it would be the studio 54 they're um, made of 10k okay obviously I can't give I cannot give away 10k or gold pieces for free but I had um, a, okay so I have a company uh, whatever a manufacturer in Italy who makes some of my ster sterling silver pieces and I said can you guys make me solid sterling silver gold plated studio 54s okay and they did so I sent them my wide band that I always wear let me show you and my thin band that I always wear I don't know if you can tell I'll show you guys later um super super sparkly shiny they're amazing um, to recreate in almost the exact millimeter and width and everything because I want you guys to get the vibe Okay, like it, you need to fucking get the vibe like we're not doing this anymore Like I I, I get it like not everyone can afford like gold. It, it's it's like it's hard. Okay, so I am giving this to you for free Okay, let me show you guys what you get. Okay with any order with any order doesn't matter There's no minimum you're getting a thin bracelet. It's solid sterling silver with gold plating or if you don't like gold I'm also doing silver for you just plain silver okay solid solid sterling silver because I understand not everyone likes gold so you're gonna be getting this okay 
Then, if you spend a hundred dollars, wait till you tell, wait till you see what I brought back. You're gonna fucking die. Okay, do you remember the HRH credit card pouch? I'm bringing these back one more time. This is it. This is the last run of them. I brought them back just for Black Friday because I know you guys flipped out when I brought when I had them for a while. They're so cute. Um, they fit. Let me show you. Yeah, here it is. They fit like credit cards perfectly, and I have a hundo in there just so you guys can see like. You can probably fit, you can fit a ton of credit cards in here, but it's perfect for credit cards. I love it. And it's a special AB color. It's like a pink with a purple inside. It's really, really cool. That purple AB inside and there's like a purple hot pink iridescence, okay? So this is, you get this and this if you spend $100, okay? This is a product too. Shipping doesn't count even though on domestic orders, like everything over $100 is free anyway, okay? Then, then if you spend $175 or more, which is so easy, you get the whole set. You get the wide bracelet, the thin bracelet, and you get the pouch. So you get the entire thing. This is like, honestly, I, I went completely over like and above for you guys just because like I cannot stand it anymore. Like this, like you guys need these. This is like, I mean, of course it's like blown as fuck, you can't see. Um, you need them. How gorgeous. They're all made in Italy with really high quality, obviously sterling silver and plating. And it's not just some like junk, you know what I mean? Like material, like costume material. It's solid sterling silver. These are amazing pieces. And like I said, you can choose them with gold plating or without gold plating. And I wear mine every day. It's just so important that you guys, like I just, you guys know what I mean? Like I really want you guys to like, get it you know what I mean I'm like fuck just fucking get it you know what I mean so like I said no matter what with any purchase you're getting the thin one no matter what so cute right you guys know I wear them all the time my thin my wide all the time thin and wide I wear it all the time on this hand so I love it they're really comfortable to wear they stack great you like they're just amazing okay so that's that um I wanted to tell you guys about that all the details it's not difficult like I didn't want to make it difficult I didn't want to do a minimum usually I do do a minimum a minimum like I do like you know $50 or something minimum I was like no like I'm just gonna like do it like I don't care like I really love them like we're just doing it you know what I mean so I love it and I love that there's options too like you know there's you can work up to you can get like one you can get two prizes or you can get three prizes and it's not hard to like everything on my site is like you know, I'm not trying to make it difficult, like spend 35 50 or something, you know what I mean? Like I would never do that, okay? So don't miss out on this, you guys. Oh, fuck. Don't miss out on this, you guys. So cute. And also you can even like split it up for Christmas, give like one away for a gift, keep one for yourself. Um, definitely don't give the pouch away, okay? Like that has HRH, like you have to keep that. All right, um, I wanna put my bracelets on though. And so I think, I think I'm trying to think if I forget. I forgot anything else I have to say but love it so much so cute look at that okay so like I said one more time it's just no minimum for the first bracelet and then a hundred dollars for the bracelet and the card the credit card pouch and then um, 175 for all three for the wide the wide is about double the thin so it's a beautiful substantial piece they're not thin like I mean when I mean thin I mean like width thin, not like depth thin. They're gorgeous. And like I said, they're they're um, designed after my actual Studio 54s. So the millimeter is almost exactly the same, like the width, the depth, everything. So they are, there's like a reason I did it, okay? And we know, you can go back and you, you guys know, I wear these all the fucking time. Like they are everything to me. So I just, okay, enough with the Black Friday. I just wanna tell you guys, I'm really excited, okay? Like I've, been, I've worked really fucking hard on this, okay? And I just like, it's one of those, I fucking dropped it. Anyway, um, for all of my promotions I do for you guys, I don't take them lightly. You know what I mean? Like I really try and go above and beyond. Um, I really do. Like when all bullshit aside, I really, really go above and beyond for you guys because I love HRH so much. Like I feel like, yeah, it's my business, but I feel like it's me. Like it's me and you. I don't know. And I call them the, I call the bracelets. They, um, we are the bracelets we're wearing the bracelets we are wearing like that's what they're called because it is like this is what we are wearing like this is it this is fucking it looking to fucking wear them and there's no excuse too because you can choose silver or you can choose gold okay like you have no excuse get the vibe get the fucking vibe okay all right 
<laughs> okay, let me go now. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get going. I have to go to Corner Bakery. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys, discuss with you guys like um, everything about the Diet Coke when I get there. Um, do I look like shit? Okay, oh, let me show you. I know I've, I've, it's like fucking raining, so I have this hat. And the hat kind of reminded me of something before I go. I just wanna like, get into it. And I know everyone's like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Like, I, to be honest, I don't know if I, I look kind of crazy. I, did I tag it yet? Ugh, I look like fucking shit in here. Um, to be honest, you guys, like, okay, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to have to tell you every time, every time where I get things. Like, I don't. Because you already know where I got it. Like, I've already told you guys before. Like, like... If, like, recently you know where I'm shopping, so just stop. Like, stop asking me where I get my things because it's from there. So I'm just going to reply, it's just the store. Like, I'm getting from the store. Like, if you ask me, like, I'm, if you're going to be so like, dumb to ask me where I got something because you know where I got it already, like, I told you, then I'm just going to say the store because it's it. It's a store. Like, I got it from the fucking store at this point. Like, just shut up. Like, stop asking me dumb questions. I'm not going to lie. Like, actually, yesterday I got two really annoying questions, and the truth is they're not from, like, trolls. They're from, like, people who just are, like, obviously not watching my videos. I'm, like, so personally offended. Someone's like, Alex, I love your nails so much. Like, like, can you please help me out and like tell me where to get your nails? Oh my god, look at I gotta show you guys really quick. Um, these are new. These are not available on my site. They are um a small, medium, and a large little cross. Um, if you want to order these, and by the way, if you want to do any orders that like, like for example, this lariat, I just made it. You know, it's really sparkly, except I can't fucking see because it's blown out, of course. Um, it's 14k, and I kind of shared it on my Instagram yesterday. Like, if you want to order something that's not on my site, you can still qualify for the uh, Black Friday promotion. So you can just email me, and I'll help you. But I also have a lot of new things on my site too. This is, I have a lot of new, um, like this is called the Tangiers bracelet. Do we know? If we know, we know. If you don't know, then I'll just tell you. And then I have my 70s Dream necklace, which are a choker, which I love. It's really like a cute. Um, oval kind of like link it's like ovals and like long bits and then oval it's very like design like 70s designer and this is my new Riviera necklace um, it's in 14k gold filled too so it's a really nice affordable piece um, so go check out I have a lot of new things for you guys to look at too I forgot my fucking watch I'm not wearing any rings because it's raining and I just I thought I was going to like do it I don't know I'm just like in the rain I'm like not used to this um, but yeah I love these these are 14k but they're actually really affordable and they're so sparkly and I love all three. Ugh, I'm dead over them, they're so cute. And then this ear, I have like something different going on. Just like little hoops today, but I like to mix, mix and match everything. I feel like they're really loud. Isn't that cute? Okay. Hate lint. Literally so fucking gross. <laughs> Like this hat, honestly, it's so fucking cold. It's like still drizzling. Like this hat makes me feel really, look really fat. Okay. You guys, I just tell you one thing though. Please um, pay attention. Okay. I'm gonna go in there right now. Pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm only doing this one fucking time for you. It's that important, but I'm not gonna be going to every fucking restaurant in fucking LA trying to show you to make a diet coke. I just like cannot be bothered. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't see you. Sorry. Can I just have a large drink, please? Yeah, I'm just gonna zip up my jacket. Thank you. 
Okay. Let me go and explain to you exactly why it is that way. Because then everyone's like, fuck. Okay? Don't question me about this. I made a fucking fool of myself in there with a the fucking camera. This bucket hat makes me so sad. I can't. I look so fat. I look so fat in this. The one day that I didn't bring my other wallet, it doesn't. Oh, I have quarters, good. And I'm gonna count one more. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know you didn't, I didn't read the sign. Am I supposed to, oh, okay, I have it. Should I get into? I don't know. I forgot my wallet. I have my credit card in here. I'm literally gonna have an anxiety attack right now. I'm literally gonna freak out. My face looks so fat in that video. guys I'm back and I hey okay I'm back I legitimately have a menagerie around me right now like I'm not even joking if you've been following me on Instagram you'll know that I brought Bao back in the house so he's like in the corner here and and then Bao sh <sighs> Ming is like right here chewing on her bone so I just have like literally I live in a zoo um okay so you guys might think that I'm like joking about this whole Diet Coke thing, but to be honest, I'm not. Like, it might sound might sound like very OCD or something, but it's not. I'm not like OCD. It's just certain things matter, okay? And yeah, here, these are the bracelets, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's this little one, the thin one, and then the wide one, and how sick are they, okay? Like, I am fucking telling you. You guys know I fucking talk about the mustard of four all the time, so there's like, doesn't matter like it's like it's like a non it's like I we already know it's like I've spoken about it a million times okay so I'm just gonna go and review what I did at corner bakery just so that we know and then we never have to speak about it again like I don't like people telling me that like oh I love diet coke like bitch you don't love diet coke because you don't even know how to fucking drink it properly like I guarantee you have not had a diet coke until you've had it the same the way I've fucking told you to make it okay so here it is I am so I'm going to burst some people's dreams too because I have like a million people out there who love McDonald's Diet Coke and I just can't 100% agree with you and I'm going to, I'm thinking about one girl right now actually because we like text a lot and she's going to like message me later and be like, what the fuck? But I'm sorry, like I don't love Diet Cokes 
for McDonald's, I don't think the, um, the, the carbonation and syrup ratio is right. Okay, I'm trying to think of like a major chain, like, uh, like all over the country that does Diet Coke right. Okay, Cheesecake Factory, have you guys had their Diet Coke? It is on point. I mean, Cheesecake Factory is like, if I could like be there every day, I fucking would. This is like, I love that kind of fucking like junk food. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but yeah, best Diet Coke. In and Out has amazing Diet Coke. Okay, Co uh, Corner Bakery too. And I used to go to Corner Break Bakery when I lived in um, Orange County because they have them a lot. Of, you know, they have them on the South Coast and like other places too. Okay, so let me tell you about the situation. How to make your Diet Coke depending on the restaurant you go to. I hate driving through and ordering Diet Cokes too because the person who makes the Diet Cokes doesn't give a fuck. They literally, I don't know what it is about people who work in like restaurant like in fast food they literally i mean i guess you're getting a lot more like they give like getting a lot more soda if they do this i get it so they only give you like this much so, uh, ice and they fill the rest up with soda it is like to me it's infuriating like i want so much ice i don't care if i only get one sip of diet coke like i can't drink it any other way so whenever i go through diet through drive through if i like have to order a diet coke i'll just sit there and say extra 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 ice i'll say it three times so they understand like Bitch, literally fill it the fuck up, okay? And they still never get it right. When I tell them extra Diet Coke, extra ice, they like literally put it here. You know what I mean? So it's never ever right. But like when I go to drive through, like whatever it is, what it is. Like I already know it's gonna be horrible. Okay. Let me just tell you what happened with Corner Bakery. It's very important. Corner Bakeries, it depends on the ice cube. You, it is your responsibility to look at the ice cubes when you go and you open up your, you get, you get your, and you get a fucking paper towel. I hate when it starts to sweat. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys this too. I know you're not going to believe me. I don't care. Like, I don't care because I know you're not going to believe me. When the Diet Coke starts to sweat, it's done. Like, I'm sorry. For me, it's done. That's why I love to, I love like a, um, a styrofoam cup because it will like stay cold forever. But when a Diet Coke starts to sweat, that means that the ice is starting to melt and it's starting to fuck up like the chemistry of the Diet Coke and it's done. It's fucking done. Like right now, unfortunately, it's it's starting to get there. Like it's not good. I can start, start I can see even though like, I've been like filming, like, you know what I mean? Like doing shit. Like, so I've kind of like wasted my Diet Coke. Okay. Um, when you go in there, you have to evaluate the ice situation. This kind of ice, let me just open up this to just show you what I'm talking about. Okay. These ice were like this. They're solid, but they're small. It's this kind. It's like, it's like, decent kind of ice okay there's also that kind of ice that is like hollow it's like like shaped like that but then there's like a little space in between that kind of ice is fucked up okay that's the kind of ice so let me tell you you've got to do with these kind of ice if it's not like in and out ice in and out ice is like this but much bigger okay if it, if their ice the place's ice is like big and solid like and hefty you can just fill it up, fill up the ice to like here, and then you can just put your Diet Coke in. But if it's the kind of ice I'm telling you about, the kind of ice that melts easy because it's hollow or because it's like this, where it's like not mega ice, then you're going to have to sandwich it. Okay. Don't, don't flip out on me. I don't want, I don't care. Don't flip out on me. You're going to be like, oh my God, she's fucking insane. So that's what I did. I filled it up to here with ice. What did I do? Yeah. I filled it up to here with ice here. Then I put the Diet Coke. Then I added more ice, and then I added more Diet, I hit myself. I just fucking hit punch. I just like scratched myself in the face. Scratch myself. Oh my God, am I bleeding? Fuck, um, so stupid. Okay, um, because I don't know what it does, the way it starts to like compact or like consolidate, it matters. I swear to God, it matters. You have to sandwich it at certain places. In and out, you don't have to sandwich it. I'm telling you, their ice is like, it, it just doesn't have to be. Corn Baker, you do, because it's gonna start melting. So it just the way it just like starts to settle, you have to do it that way. Like, it's so important. Um, I can't think of like any other places, you know, it really matters about the cup too. I love this shape cup. It's the same shape cup as like El Pollo Loco does this kind of cup too. It's like, I can't explain it. It's a really nice, it's like my favorite size drink okay because it's big 
but it's like a nice shape. It fits in the cup holder. It's not too wide, even though I do love like a really extra huge, like wide styrofoam cup. That's like my favorite. It's like very hard to find in California because of so many like regulations. Like no one uses fucking styrofoam anymore. It's so annoying. But um, yeah, so I love this. Also, obviously you have to have the plastic straw and I really appreciate the clear tops. Like, I don't know. I really like to like see what's going on because if it's starting to look watery, it's not happening. Like, I'm not even gonna fucking waste my time. Like, if I can't hear, also, it really matters about this. Like, do you hear that there's a lot of ice in here? Like, it's this, like the no, I can, the, this is refreshing. It's not like a watered ass down, like Diet Coke. Like, this is good. Like, this is like very like comforting to me. Do you hear? Okay. If there was like one ice cube in there, it would just, I, honestly, I would, I swear to God, it, I can't drink it. I'll have, if I'm like parched and that's why I like, I ordered it, I'll have like a drink and I won't ever drink it again. Like it's done. Like I'll throw it away. Like I can't, but anyway, anyway, I'm telling you like diet Cokes, diet Cokes are like, it's really, really, it's really, it, ma it fucking matters. It fucking matters. Like I, I know you guys are like, you're absolutely, absolutely outrageous, but like, I swear to God, it matters. Um, also want to talk to you guys about something that happened to me on the way in just now. I was just like, I was like on my phone with red light and I'm really sick and tired of it's starting to like already water down I think to be honest okay um okay I really am really sick of people of these trolls um like d what's that not devalue me I forgot that um what's the word when they fuck I'm gonna bring up the picture I already blocked her um, it, I already blocked it. doesn't deserve a name. Um, marginalizing me, discrediting me. That's what it is. Like discrediting me. Like, okay, this is what it is. I am really sick and tired of the comments about like trying to make it look like it's what I'm doing or whatever is actually like not like, like there's something more to it. Like obviously this person thought I was Photoshopping my photos. Okay. So she's like, what's up with the knee situation? And I'm not sure if she, what this means. Is it because my knees look dark? One of the knees looks dark. The other one looks skinny. Was it because I have like a freckle above one knee? Is it because I have a scar? I had like, I had like a surgery on my knee as a child, like a, whatever. Like I have a surgery. It's something that's fucking crazy too is you can see like a little scar right here. It used to, the surgery actually happened up here and because like as you age or whatever as you grow your skin stretches now the scar is like on my knee and now when I get older older I bet you it's gonna be like down here right but she's like what's up with the with the knee situation and then I looked I was like you know it's either like they're just either she's assuming I'm photoshopping like something looks weird it's this picture okay the Malibu picture you guys liked from me at Country Mart this weekend like I don't like that it's it's so discredited. It discredits me. Like I don't fucking Photoshop my, my, like my photos. And I don't like, I mean, like, yeah, of course I fucking put filters and like edit and make like, you know, I can make like my eyes look brighter, like whatever. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's fucking obvious. Like we know what my eyes look like. I fucking film. Okay. Like, fuck. Everything has to just fucking fight. Like just leave me the fuck alone. Like, oh my God, you're so fucking annoying. I can't even fucking tell you. But that irritated me. I was like, what? Like, what? Like, what's wrong with my knee? Like, okay, fine. Should I like Photoshop in my knees now? Like, so because are they like that ugly? Like, no, I mean, just, it's so fucking weird. Like the things that people pick people apart about, like, I, I'm just so like, you are, I can't stand it. Like, show me your goddamn picture, bitch. Like stand up and fucking show me your picture. Do a fucking 360. Let me see everything about you. Okay. Before you fucking say one thing about me, I'm so fucking done with it. Like, I'm just. I'm, I'm fucking done with it. Okay. Ugh, that, um, I don't know. I really would not ask myself with you guys today. I didn't have any fucking money to pay the fucking guy, the attendant, the park, the parking lot. Like it was raining. Like the people at the, at the fucking corner bakery were like looking at me with the phone. Like it's awkward. I had a fucking weird hat on, which by the way, like, no, I'm not going to fucking tell you where I got it. I'm sick of it. Like we know where I got it. Okay. I told you guys where I shop. Like, if you watch my videos and you'll know where I bought it. I'm not going to fucking tell every every person where I got the hat. Like, where'd you get the hat? Where'd you get the hat? Like, you fucking know where I got the hat. I got it from the fucking store, okay? That is going to be the, that is going to be the, my, like, rebuttal from now on is the fucking store. Because I'm so tired of it. Like, who cares? Anyway, like, who cares? It's a fucking black ass fuzzy.
fancy hat and you know where I'm shopping so you know where it's from. Like, why are you trying to waste my time? Like, you know where it's from. Like, I just, sometimes, you guys. Okay. Um, fucking store. What? Fucking wrong. So annoying. Stop texting me. So irritating. I hate these group texts I'm in. God, shut up. Um, I want to tell you guys, though. It's, like, not good now. See, like, you hear that? You hear it? It's starting to, like, sound watery. I don't like it. Okay. I want to tell you guys two more things because this is, like, I, I guess, like, it's, I have time to do, like, a little mini Sarah, like, seminar with you guys. I don't know how many, I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these seminars. We like them now, you know, like in a couple weeks, we may not like them anymore. So it just depends on like what we're doing. I'm blinking. Hold on. Like, why am I blinking? Get really annoyed. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to talk to you guys about one driving thing. I'm going to talk to you about like, um, something that I'm like, kind of like, actually let's talk about something I'm like, kind of like, ugh about. I'm like, okay. I really like, don't like, um, I really don't like what's it called children like 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 disrespectful children I really think that like children should be like seen and not heard kind of thing like they should be like very uh, quiet and they should be very well behaved very respectful like they should you know what I mean they should like be seen and not heard like they should have like manners I don't know like like loud children, and it's all the parents' fault. Like loud children, annoying children, bossy children, um, like what's it called? Know it all children. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like more and more nowadays. Like children who like who like think they're like as smart as the adults. Like you better step away from me. Like just don't, because I'm gonna get a fight with you, bitch. Like I'm gonna get a fight with you. I can't. Like like, I've, I've been around that once before, and I, like, can't take it. Like, it really bothers me. I don't know where you get, like, so much, like, like self-confidence at that age. Like, it's, a, it's, like, a bit much, and your parents should be, like, telling you to stop because, like, you're really gross. Okay. So, I really have this. I really, like, I don't know. Like, I, as a child, I wouldn't have, like, dreamed of, of, like, doing this kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Maybe I'll have children. I mean, I'm 35. Like, I need to fucking think about what I'm doing in my life. Like, I mean, don't think about it. I don't think about it every fucking day of my life. I just, like, don't know what I want to do. And I really want, like, 10 more years, honestly. If I could. My nose looks, like, really fat, right? I feel like I need more contour. Um, anyway. This is, like, my business. You know, you know, just my business, just everything, like my relationship, which I don't really want to like get into too much because it just isn't really, it's like kind of irrelevant. I just don't know what I want to do. Like, I, I just don't want to like, ugh, I don't know. I really wish I just had like 10 more years because I'm also a, a very late bloomer. I know I am like I, my mom, I've always have been, um, I just feel like I need more time, but I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I should probably just like freeze my eggs, but then I feel like the moment I freeze my eggs, it's like I'll get pregnant or something. I don't even fucking know, okay? I'm also very traditional where like, I'm just a very traditional person, like, like in my like self, you know what I mean? I don't care what people do. I feel like everyone should do whatever the fuck they want. Like I don't want, I don't like people bossing me around and I don't want to pop boss other people around. Um, I hate that. Um, okay. So, oh yeah, the thing with the children. Okay. I just really absolutely my child will be if I have a child the most well-behaved respectful child on the face of the planet if they don't I'll probably like beat its ass I'm not kidding like I want I'll like disown it like it will say yes sir and like yes sir no sir kind of thing not to me to like others like to the general public to to authority like that's how it will speak like it will be so respectful like I will literally backhand it if it's not you know what I mean like I just don't understand nowadays these kids are so first of all like they I, I, I like go to a coffee shop and I see these girls who legitimately like look like me but they're like 14 I've, I've I'm like I don't know I, I guess I get it you know I mean like I'm like old or whatever but I don't give a fuck like never like my kid will be the biggest nerd in the world I don't give a shit like it will be the biggest fucking nerd in the world because there's no fucking way that that will be you 
Um, but that, I was going to talk about the yes sir, no sir. And the reason I got on, like, I was thinking about this is because I was watching, I love Judge Judy. Um, I love watching, Judge, I tape Judge Judy. And I like to watch it when I get home. And um, I think that, uh, whatever, I just like to see, you know, I, I like to watch Judge Judy. But there was like some children on there. She like has like children, whatever, on sometimes, whatever, in some cases. And some of these kids were so rude, like to a judge. And I was like, you could tell she was fuming like inside, like, wow. And then she would like tell the parents how rude they were or whatever, like how, how she, whatever, I forget what it was. But I was thinking to myself, like they were, she was questioning them about some case and they were like, yeah, no, no, yeah, like that. And I was like, wow. Like even nowadays, if I get pulled over by a cop, which I haven't in a long time, knock on wood, but when I did, Last year, actually, it was for expired tags, whatever, long story. Um, I was, like, pissed because I think that, to be honest, I would pull over downtown, okay? And there are so many things for the, like, to be doing other than pulling over a fucking Benz. I know you just saw dollar signs, whatever, for fucking expired tags and, like, made my life hell. But the whole time, I was like, yes, sir, thank you. Like, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, that's just how you have to be. Like, it's authority, and I will raise my children that way. Like, no matter what, I just, unless like, okay, I'm just saying generally, okay? Of course, if like people are gonna be like, now everyone's gonna be up in arms and be like, well, blah, like, you know, some shit, like you have no, like, bitch, stop, okay? I'm talking about generally. I'm not talking about if like, you're getting like fucking railroaded or something, just shut up. Like not everything has to be a fucking like rebuttal. Stop fucking commenting on my page. If you want to fucking make a video about it, then make a video about how you want to raise your children. And maybe I'll watch. Probably won't. But, like, leave me alone because this is what I'm talking about, okay? I can't watch Judge Judy now. I can't watch Judge Judy. Because I, if I, like, say something about it, I can just see everyone's going to be like, I, like, I, got, I don't even know. Like, I always respect authority if they respect me. Like, actually, no, okay? Like, actually, no. That's not how it works. Like, if I would have gotten pulled over and be like, being a bitch, you know, to like the, the fucking cop, that probably would have gotten in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, you like, I don't know. It is what it is. And like, I have a, I have a family member. I'm not going to say who it is. Actually, maybe I will. My mom is like, not good. Like she got, she gets pulled over and she fucking puts up a fight, not a fight, but like she gives an attitude. And I'm like, I like, I was like, I was shocked by that. It's horrible. Like, I don't agree with that. I'm like, you're not going to get out of it. You're just going to make them worse, like more mad. They're just going to give you like, an additional ticket or something. Like, stop. And my mom, is all, my mom is like really like aggressive, I think. Like she just does not put up with shit at all. Um, actually, I remember getting pulled over with her as a child. And she sort of was screaming at the cop. Like, I remember this. Not screaming, but like she was pissed because she was like on her way to work and like late. And I think they like, they like didn't, you know what I mean? I just remember I was like so embarrassed. Oh my God, I can't put this up. She's going to kill me. <laughs> she recently actually got a speeding ticket or something and she made like a big deal about it. Like she was like getting, she was like really angry. I mean, I would be angry too, but like you can't get, and you can try and talk your way out of it, of course. But like, I think she like screams. Hmm. Whatever. I just don't, I don't agree. Okay. Everyone's going to be like, shut up. Just shut up. I can't, it's not your channel. Okay. Just shut up. It's not your fucking channel. I hate that. Go make your own channel then. Like, shut up. Okay, that, and then I'm going to talk about one more thing. Um, okay. One more thing is this. Okay, sorry. I had to, like, delete files, of course. It happens, like, right when I'm talking. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is just the driving thing, just because, like, I do a lot of driving, obviously. If you live in, like, L.A. or some congested area, or if you commute, like you do a lot of driving and so you, you probably feel me. And I'm just going to preface this whole thing with don't, don't even give me your like, ex your stupid explanation. You just don't, don't tell me that I'm, not, I'm out of control. Don't, don't tell me that I'm a bitch. Don't tell me that, um, just don't tell me anything. I don't give a fuck. Unless, actually, no, I was going to say, if you like live in like a very congested area or if you live here in LA, then you could, then you're allowed to say something, but actually not because my channel don't give a shit. Unless you agree with me about to say something. Cause that's like how it is. I don't care. Like I'm just sick of everyone being annoying. I don't like it. So, um, I'm not joking, you guys. Like, I have always been a very, like, not, it's not like I'm aggressive, an aggressive driver. It's just like, I just am so sick of people's shit that, like, I don't, like, you know, for me, it's like you're guilty before you're innocent when it got, regards to, like, driving. Like, 
but not. Let me explain to you. Every fucking, are you guys like this too? Is this like, okay, think about it. Every time someone like gets in front of you or you let someone in, do they fuck you up every time? Like every time without fail, like I think to myself, it's either something where you didn't want to let them in, they came in anyway, or you had the opportunity to let them in when you didn't have to let them in, you let them in and they just fuck you up. It's for me, it's 99% of the time. I'm not kidding. It's like every single time, either they end up going way too slow, which is usually the, the situation, or they like slam on their brakes. You know what I mean? Or I some, something bizarre happened. Something like I shouldn't have let your fucking dumbass in every fucking time. It's just so infuriating. Infuriating. It's happened to you guys. Like the problem is with me too is I keep like a longer, not like a really long distance, but like on the 405 or on the 10 going home. Sorry, I don't take the 405 home because there's just like way too many, too much traffic. But um, on the 10 going home, like it is a fuck. Sometimes it's like fucked. You know what I mean? Like well, it's not sometimes, it always is. But like, oh yeah, I leave like a big distance because people slam on their brakes. Like it comes to a fucking dead stop sometimes. Um, like last year, not last year, remember, remember when I was like rear-ended on the freeway going home, like I think it was like over a year ago. Um, I had like, my whole car went into like a slide and I didn't hit the guy in front of me, thank God. And then a tow truck, tow truck came behind me and hit me. I was just fucking totally unlucky because I was like, I was like, I was with my parents on Bluetooth and I was like, oh my God, because they heard the whole thing happen. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like I'm unscathed. It didn't, nothing happened. Like, oh my God, thank God. And all of a sudden it was like, psh, in the back and like hit me. I was so pissed. Okay. Anyway, so, um, that, um, anyway, so I leave like a longer, like lead in front of me. And that's because I do that. Not a lot, not a really long lead because I think that's like really, really rude because I'm always in the fast lane. Like I leave... I think like the, the rule is, what is that, three car lengths? Two, I forget. Something like two or three car lengths is like the law or like suggested rule. Um, but I leave like two, like a car and a half, car and a half length in front of me. So it's easy for a car to like get in if they want to. And if sometimes if I'm just feeling like really aggressive, I'll like, I won't leave that much. But on, on the 10, like I just do it because like I don't want people to slam on their brakes. Like I need the extra room. Like I'm like traumatized from like what happened. Um, and yeah, so people get in front of me a lot because of that. And it's really, really fucking annoying. I, I, I just like, I leave, need that buffer. Um, but like on the main, on like regular streets, I don't let anyone in. Like it's very rare unless I feel like I'm the, <laughs> I'm so kind of like shy, not shy, but like, I, I don't love confrontation to be honest. If I feel like, like I'm not, if I don't let this person in, this person in, I'm probably gonna have to like face them soon like they're gonna have to like come next to me and be like you know what I mean I'll let them in every fucking time every time they fuck me up it's like bitch I let you in you not you not see like I, I drive fast like I, I don't want some moron in front of me like you've gone behind me it's just so infuriating last night the same thing happened to me on the way home it was like awful and I'm fucking honking the fuck out of this guy like just so rude don't fucking come in front of me if you're gonna fuck me up like just stop I can't stand it anymore it's like I like I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm one day like I'm going to or I'm like literally gonna just like run someone over because it is absolutely fucking exhausting it's like just it's like a mental drain Alex I think that you need to come like I just hate it just don't just stop just stop please just stop um, so yeah, I don't know. I want to bring up that if I want to know if like every single time. So this is the thing, like, I don't let people in. Typically I like don't let people in unless of course, like I said, you know, like I feel like I'm gonna have to face you <laughs> like a red light soon. Um, but like more and more lately, I just don't let anyone in. And every time I don't let anyone in, it's like, I get like a little bit more. I'm like, oh, yay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, Thank God. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to start doing it more. I don't care. Like I'm not letting people in as much. Like I never let people in, but like I do sometimes. So I feel like just now it's not, it's not because you're going to screw me over every time. Like I'm sick of being fucked over. Like I'm just done with you. Um, it's very rare that like, cause I'm the kind of person that I'm, I'm like, I'm extra like courteous. Like I told you guys, like when I go to a coffee shop and I like take my, you know, the credit card and I like just don't even put it back in. I put it in my fucking bag and I worry about it later. Like, you know, these, these, 
these people think that they are the only people on the face of the planet. Like, and I am very, very hyper aware that I'm nothing in this world. You know what I mean? Like legitimately, I'm like a speck of dust, like in the fucking grand scheme of like reality. And go fuck off anyone who's going to waste my time because I wouldn't do that to you. Like, it's just so fucked up, you know? Um, and I just swear to God, I would love to be like the head of DMV. Like I told you guys, I'd always love to be like a warden, like not for any reason. Like, even though I would like, I'd be like the worst warden ever. Like the whole fucking place would just go to hell. Like, I don't know. I would like literally, literally just probably like, fucking let everyone out. Cause I like feel so bad for everyone or something. Like, I don't even know. Um, no, not really, <laughs> but you know, like I would just be the worst. Um, for the DMV though, like I would, I, I would fail everyone. Like no one would drive. People don't understand that like driving is not a right. Okay. It's a fucking privilege. Okay. Like I cannot stress to you. You don't deserve a license. Like I swear to God, like you don't deserve a license. Like I, I can't, it, it, it absolutely fucking infuriates me. Like I can't tell you how much it infuriates me. I don't know how these people have fucking licenses. If I was a cop, I would never pull over a speeder. I would pull over these fucking assholes in the fast lane who are going under 65. Oh my God, you're going, oh my God. Why do people go in the fast lane? Under, like, why are you in, oh my God, legitimately, my life going into work is cutting people off. Like, that's all I do. When I go into work, I cut everyone off because I don't understand how you're in the fast lane. Like, it's a fast lane. You took a fucking driving test. Do you not understand what a fucking fast lane is? Move the fuck over. Just move the fuck over. I, I will honk. Like, I get so pissed. I will fucking honk at people in that fast lane. I will cut them off so badly because they're so rude. They're so rude. Do you not understand? What if, what if someone's a doctor and like trying to, what, and like trying to get to like some kind of an ER situation? What if someone's having a fucking pregnant, like pregnant and she's like trying to get to the fucking hospital? What if someone's, someone's dying and they're trying to get somewhere? Like you have no courtesy. You're a fucking bitch. Okay. There is something wrong with you. These people. Oh my God. These people. I can't, I can't with these people. Like I can't, I legitimately can't. Like I, like I need there. I think there needs to be like, like courtesy courses. Common fucking courtesy courses. You know what I mean? Like a common, common courtesy. Because it, it, it's like this. Take yourself out of the situation. It's not about you. Like it's really not about you. It's like, it's not about you. There are, look at how many people are around you. Like how is it about you? It's not. I swear to God, none of you guys better fucking go on the fast lane if you're not going, if you're not fucking passing traffic. You better be fucking passing, passing traffic. You better be going 75 at least in the fast lane. I swear to God, I'll cut you off. I swear to God, I don't care who you are, I'm gonna fucking cut you off. So irate. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, I hope, I haven't seen this Diet Coke thing, what I did. I hope it comes out clear. Like, I really do. And um, I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, I did the same, I did the same thing. Like, I, oh yeah, I do that. So I do too. Like, whatever. Um, because you really don't, okay? Like, just stop. Because you really don't. Like, I promise. I promise you don't do that. Like, maybe you get a lot of, a lot of ice, but you don't, you don't do that, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, I gotta go. Um, don't forget. Don't forget, you guys. And then here they are, just so you can see them up close again. So pretty. Love them so much. Um, and anything that you guys see that I, you guys, you can always email me if you like are looking for certain things, um, or designs like these 14 K pieces, um, you know, that aren't available yet. Really cute. Where's the little tiny one? Um, then you can email me. Okay. Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow for Thanksgiving and I'm really not looking forward to the drive. To be honest, um, I really, that's like one reason why I don't like see them very often is because the drive is just so atrocious. It's gotten like so bad over like, it gets, every year it gets worse. I feel like there's just like so many more people are just really like really bad drivers. You know what I mean? And I just like, I, the whole way I'm like fighting people, like, the entire way down there, I'm like fighting people. You know what I mean? And it's like, just get the fuck, just be courteous. Just the world is not about you. And why are you not like looking out? Like, how are you just sitting there driving in the fast lane, fast lane at like 60, like 62? Like, bitch, I'm going to cut you off. Okay. 
Like, I'm going to cut you off, okay? Like, I'm going to. Because, I mean, I'm trying to have a good Thanksgiving. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying. But you really, like, and you make it impossible. So, just don't. Just fucking don't do it. Why do cops not pull over, like, people who go under the fucking speed limit or in the fast lane? Pull them over. Why are you pulling over people who are trying to get around them? Like, I gotta go. I gotta fucking go. I gotta go. All right, I love you guys so much. Um, And, yeah. Okay. Happy shopping. Happy Black Friday. I hope you guys love it. Okay, you guys are gonna love it. It's amazing. I'm so excited for you. Okay.